Welcome back everyone to our Let's Play series of Bus Simulator 18. So let's go ahead and start the video by sewing up a few things that happened uh, toward the end of our previous video. Most of you probably already figured out uh, what happened, but we had a very eventful uh, final route that we ran of the two we ran in that, in that video. Uh, the last one in particular was interesting because we never really got uh, any, any finality to it. Uh, we didn't get to technically finish the route, although we, we definitely did finish it. So here's what happened. Um, again, for those of you who might not have, um, have noticed it during the course of the play, I originally, when we got to what turned out to be the final stop, I was awaiting any sort of prompts to let the final people off. Most everybody but one person got off. I didn't notice at the time that that one person happened to be in a wheelchair. I did not notice that until after I had stopped uh, filming and I went back and watched, then I noticed what had happened. But essentially, I don't remember ever seeing a prompt to put out the ramp so that he could get off the bus. And as I continued driving around, it never told me to stop and let him off. It basically, I think it just sort of hung up the system. The system was geared for everybody to get off at that final stop. That didn't happen. I missed the prompt. I'm assuming it gave me a prompt somewhere along the way that let me know that I needed to put the ramp out. I simply missed it. Uh, so that's what happened. And so really no big deal. I mean, those are the, t the types of things that happen all the time in games like this. So uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to move on. Uh, as you can see, I went ahead and finished up this particular uh, objective, and which is tied entirely to having an AI driver generate income on the route. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to go back to that same route and I wanted to rerun it again to see if I had any other uh, sort of weird circumstances happen. And it went perfectly fine. Still didn't make a ton of money, as you can see, because we've not replaced what we made the last time. Uh, I'll probably go back sometime off camera again and try to make more money because I know that these two areas where we went can make some really good money uh, but I have to be careful about putting too many routes in the area because you can see we're getting very close to maxing out the the number of buses that we can put uh, in these areas. But I do plan on going back to this particular route and trying to get at least somewhere around twenty one to twenty three thousand at least out of that route because I think it's there uh, for the taking. But for right now, we're not going to uh, worry about it. Um, the good news is I went back, ran the route again, and everything was completely fine went off without a hitch so no issues there in today's video i'm hoping to be able to get through uh both of these we probably won't finish up all of the objectives because remember one of the objectives is we're going to have to set up this route run it one time ourselves and then set up an ai driver to run that route so i don't know that we're going to get through all of that in today's video but the good news is we're ready to move along so we can try and hopefully put uh, our previous video behind us and all the crazy stuff that happened again as is always the case it's about 99 percent my fault i simply don't recognize something or i'm not paying good enough attention that is certainly not anything new particularly for those of you who've been around the channel for a while you know it is very commonplace for me to be so relaxed while i'm playing that i simply don't uh, pay attention quite enough for what we need so let's go ahead and start out by setting up uh, a new stop. Now we got this main station that's going to show up again. And there are two options here. You can see both of those are blinking in purple. And I'm I'm going to use this other one because we, we now got this main station, the original main station, up to handling a maximum of five buses. Well, now this one is still at the two because we've not used it yet. So I think what I want to do is use that one. So let's go ahead and start there. It's considered main station as well. Okay, so we, then we need to go right up into this area. We need to hit two of these stops. And let's see, how do I want to do this? All right, maximum of 10 stops on this one. And you can see we would have seven if we do this uh, just with the minimum number. So I think what I'm going to do is start here. Then we'll go, let's see, that'll be two, three, and four so that'll get us three stops there then we need to go uh, right up to this area 
we'll gr grab these two. That'll be our minimum. Of course, that's really all we have available here other than this one. It's sort of out of the way for where we're headed. And then two more for Oakville. And again, these are the two main stops there as well. So that gets us a maximum of 10 stops. And that's really all we're going to be able to get out of this. Again, we could go sort of out of the way a little bit maybe and, and get to some of these others, but we're not going to worry about that. Um, we need to level these up some more. You can see we're at five out of six here, five out of seven. Yeah, we need to level some of these up uh, quite a bit. So let's go ahead and start our drive. And let's see if I can pick out. There's our first urban way. And the second one is the one we want. I'm just going to leave it on daytime. We've been using dawn for a while. So I'm going to switch over to daytime for a while. And let's get going. So we've been having quite a bit of internet trouble here in the area we had a pretty bad storm here uh, sort of late last week and it has taken down a lot of trees power lines and so on so our internet coverage has been really spotty so i'm not exactly sure when i'm going to be able to uh, actually upload this to share with you guys so i generally try to do most of my recording the day of or the day before preferably the day before if possible but in this case we might be doing uh, multiple days that I'm gonna have videos saved up until we can get uh, the internet flowing back the way I need it to because these are very large files that I'm uploading and it takes quite a while to do it and if we don't have good internet connection then it is near impossible to get these things done All right, so one of the few red lights that you encounter in the area. All right, hopefully we are good. To, oh, my goodness. Really, I mean, they got to get rid of that. You just can't expect that somebody's going to turn and just all of a sudden see you and stop. Again, this is where the head tracking would be a really good idea. Uh, I may have to go back to some of that... Uh, sort of the head goes toward uh, the apex type of head movement. I may have to go ahead and do some of that in the future just to try to help out with that, but really trying to stay away from that because I don't like I don't like the, the camera moving without me moving it, really. It's kind of disorienting. All right, coming up on our next stop. So this is this route flows pretty well. Uh, you can see here there's really nobody here. Let's see if anybody gets off. Uh, doesn't look like it. No. Nope. You can see there nobody's really getting off. And there was nobody there to get on, so we will be on our way. I don't estimate uh, based on... Oop, I missed my turn there. Um, I don't estimate, based on what we've seen previously in this game, that... Slow down for that pothole, and then we've got a speed bump here. Alright, so we'll have to go a little bit out of the way since I missed that, that first turn. Alright, we're going to make a run for it across, and hopefully we don't get hit. We're going to take the long way around. Oh, there's another one of our buses there to the right. Excellent. Making that money for us. We're up to around $300,000 at this particular point. Of course, that will continue to grow. I'm going to slow down for the speed bump, although part of me really does want to keep going uh, pretty fast. <laughs> just to see how the passengers react to it. All right, so there's a lot of cars out in the area parked on the side of the road, but unfortunately we are not getting very many passengers. Oh, there's one of our buses there blinking the lights at us to let us know that they see us. I wonder, in this game, do you have the ability to go right on red? 
where I'm from we do, but I don't know how things work over in uh, in Europe and other places abroad. So I'm just going to sit here and wait for the green light. Because as always, I initially set out to obey all the traffic rules and then along the way during each route that generally becomes more negotiable than that I'm sure the game would prefer I treat them. Okay, so we've immediately got to stop after making that turn. And there we go. A little bit late, about 45 seconds late for what we should have been. But again, not that many passengers for us. Oh, it looked like we've got a guy standing in the middle. So let's go ahead and get started. Because as soon as we try to close, it's going to tell us he's in the way. So we have to run back here and tell him, um, could you please get inside the bus, please? All right, let's get everything set up. Make sure we get the doors closed. And, all right, I think that got them all that time. All right, so obviously that's put us behind schedule because I missed our turn. All right, there we go. Another one of our buses. Oh, we actually have a stop here on the right. Not used to stopping there. I'm used to going straight through this area. We just got dinged for having our indicator on while driving straight. I'm pretty sure I've done that several times in the past. And it hasn't dinged us for it, so I guess we've gotten lucky before. All right, again, a few people getting off. About four people, I think, four or five getting on. So, yeah, we are running basically empty today on this route. But the good news is, over the long term, we will probably keep most of these routes uh, long term. But uh, we'll see. We may just not load them up with uh, a bunch of AI. We might just keep one AI on them and let that be it. Money is not an issue. Let's see, I'm going to have to stop pretty good ways back so that I don't have to mess around too much with the camera. I get nervous every time I have to do that. Every time I have to turn left or right onto a different road, it is a, it's a touchy situation because I am definitely not a great bus driver. Almost missed my turn again. Let's see if we can make it across. But yeah, these are, this is a route that I don't estimate is going to make us very much money. We've not made very much money in the past when we've included these particular stops. So, oh wow, a lot of people standing here. Hopefully most of them get on the bus. All right, let's see what we get. Let's see, there's a few. Again, oh, we got a guy at the front of the bus whose pathing has gotten him stuck. There we go. So once again, we've got about four or five people that get on the bus and about four or five that generally get off. All right, so we've got, I believe three more stops left. One in this area and then a couple more after this one, I believe. Woo! There we go. Just barely made it. Alright, the back end of the bus is always hanging out. I do a terrible job of pulling in. So it's a, we're lucky we don't get hit in the left rear. So again, few people getting on. And looks like we're all set. Okay, I think we got everybody we need. 
and off to our final couple of stops. Very quiet area here. I've actually turned up the engine volume some. I know we're the type of bus that we're in right now that might not be a whole lot to it for engine volume, but overall, the engine volume in this game seems to be pretty low to me. Oh, watch out, guy. Thought that guy was going to roll his wheelchair right out into the road. Let's get everything open, then let's put the ramp out. How about that? I actually got the ramp out before the guy asked for it. Go ahead and pull the ramp back in. Make sure we got everybody. Yeah, looks like we're good. Okay, and off to what I believe is going to be our final stop. And let's hope it works out that way this time. We do not want to hit these pedestrians. They are expensive to hit. And I mean expensive. I forget exactly how much they are, but it's somewhere like 20000 to hit one of these so yeah if you can help it you don't want to hit any pedestrians all right there's another one of our buses see if they flash at us yep looks like just at the last second all right so here we go let's go ahead and get the doors open and get the ramp out all right here comes i believe everybody yeah, there we go, and that should be the end. So that's how it normally works at the end of a route. But again, before, we had a little bit different situation, and I didn't do a very good job of keeping track of it. All right, there we go. So we're in good shape there. We're going to go ahead and press end. And overall, let's see, what do we have? Oh, yeah, they dinged us for having the indicator on while we were driving. Oh, look at that, $22,000 shows what I know about how much money we're going to make but the more i play this game and the deeper we get into the gameplay which granted i mean we haven't been playing uh, all that much to get this far but the real things that you're interested in long term i mean sure you want to level up and get all the xp uh, that you can here that that's always something you want to do but even more importantly than that what you really want to do is level up these bus stops so you can put more ai drivers on them uh, and still make the full income from these routes that's what you really want to do because that's going to unlock tons and tons of money but yeah this turns out to be a very good route all right and now you can see once again we just keep this bar slowly but steadily moving upward now a little, a little under three hundred and nineteen thousand dollars from that route and we already have eighteen buses we're going to have more than that here very shortly 1.3 million dollars in the bank right now all right so that is perfect so we've got our new route 22384 let's go ahead and hire an employee and get them a bus so we want an ace if we can get them and luckily we have two that we could hire right now let's go ahead and get them a bus I mean, a big part of me wants to go ahead and get some of these other buses for them, but it really just doesn't make any sense to do that right now. Uh, the, the objectives certainly don't call for that, and it doesn't seem to make any difference. So for now, we'll just stick with what we got. I tell you what, let's, we're going to start swapping this up. Oh, really? Yeah, we'll go with the bookworm for a while. Okay, all set. Let's head back to the route planner and assign drivers. Let's find the driver who does not currently have a route. There's Daryl. And let's find his bus. There we go. So you can see because he is an ace level driver, 17,900 each and every time he runs that route. And of course, it will help us continue to level things up. Okay, so we're all set here so let's go ahead and unpin that one 
and pin the bottom one. So we'll fulfill this one the next time we drive another route because now we have an AI driver that is assigned to it. Okay, in fact, uh, let's see, can we, actually I believe we can. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get another one. Let's go to the bus garage and the shop and go ahead and buy this bus, customize it. Really no reason not to put the ads on there unless you just really have a paint scheme that you're you're interested in having there. Okay, there is another ACE level driver. We'll grab them. My only hesitation about doing this is that I don't want to make sure that I don't max out like this particular one here. That's going to be, we're going to put that one uh, sort of at a max level right now. Uh, so I have to be careful about going beyond the max level of stops that are allowed or buses that are allowed to service that particular stop. So this is a pretty good route. So let's go ahead and put one more driver and bus on it. And now you can see our expected revenue is nearly $36,000. And again, as long as we're not going beyond, now you can see three out of three, seven out of seven. So yeah, that's about as much as we can get out of these areas without leveling them up some more. Okay, now let's go back to where we were. Let's get our pin to goal back up here. And let's see, this one has five. Yeah, let's continue using this one unless it tells me different. Let's do new route and main station. And then where do we need to go? Oh, we need to go back up here again. All right, looks like we're gonna sort of max these out for now. That was not good planning on my part. Actually, nope, we can, yeah, we're fine, we're fine. We'll just use these two. We'll simply go and make a right at the beginning. Okay, and then, oh, we've got to go all the way over to the business park. Okay, so in order to do this, uh, let's say maximum of seven. The business park is generally a pretty good area. Uh, let's go ahead and... Okay, now I can't see anything. And there, let's go ahead and max out with our seven. And it'll make it a little bit longer once we get into the business park. But I think ultimately that's going to be the best thing for us. Let's see, let's hit this optimize route. All right, looks like it's not going to do anything. I didn't think it would, but it never hurts to press that. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. Okay, there's our brand new one. Looks like it's going to take us about 14 minutes, so we better get going. Let's go ahead and start the drive. And we've got the one we want. Again, we're going to keep the day setting for now. And in the future, we'll just keep playing around with that as much as we need to. Because I'm beginning, the more I run these routes, I'm beginning to think it is more randomized than I first wanted to believe. All right, here we go. So we're here at the main station. I'm gonna pick up, looks like about four people. All right, nobody else. Oh, we got one more person walking. Are they gonna get on? No, they're continuing on. All right, let's get our blinker on and we will be on our way. But yeah, I'm beginning to believe that this game is okay this guy should not be walking across the street when we have a green light that should not be happening or at least not unless he expects to get ran over All right, let's see if we can make the turn again the goal is always not to hit anything or or break any traffic laws but that starts off as a goal but not a goal that I generally meet as you guys well know. All right, so again, really the, the chief thing that you, we're getting from this particular, oh, 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 other than me almost forgetting to stop at a stoplight, or excuse me, not a stoplight, a bus stop. 
That would have been nice if I'd have just missed the entire stop. Let's see what we got. A couple of people. Yeah, again, pretty sparse. But again, that doesn't seem to really matter with regards to the money we're making. I'd love to tell you that whenever you get these special events, such as rush hour or national holiday, things like that, that it makes a huge difference in your income, but I just haven't seen it. Just haven't seen it as much as I would like to see it. It hasn't been uh, enough of that, uh, enough of a difference to really make me think it's not generally more random than I would uh, like to believe. So the economy of the game seems to be fairly simplistic, uh, which is kind of what I would expect. Uh, again, we're turning right here, but I'm going to wait for the green light because I'm not sure of what the rules around here are. Alright, please don't. I saw it coming. That box truck pulling right out in front of us. You must have been watching me drive and decided that it was working out fairly well for me, so he was going to give it a shot. Because for as many chances as I take driving this bus around, for the most part it works out pretty good. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not. Because if it didn't work out so good, then I would probably be forced to pay a little bit more attention than what I do. Okay, so here pretty quickly we're going to need to turn to the left. Now one thing I've been thinking about doing, and by the way that's very disconcerting to see if you notice how these shadows are operating. As we pull up to trees the shadows sort of disappear as we get to them. It's kind of a weird effect. Uh, but as I was mentioning, one of the things that I am thinking about doing is is increasing the throttle response on these things because as I've mentioned several times I put my foot all the way to the floor at every red light and bus stop and everything and it just takes a while for these things to get going now that's understandable and of course in real life they're not meant to go fast but uh, for the purposes of the game it would be nice if we could get going just a little bit quicker than what we currently are all right, so again, we have a fairly long drive. This may be the longest drive we've had to take as a connection between uh, two stops. So yeah, we're just gonna keep on going till we get to the business park. And then we're gonna hit all four of those spokes that it gave us an opportunity to hit. And again, that is simply for the purpose of attempting to maximize our revenue. All right, here, so I'm gonna try not to slow all the way down. All right, there we go, they were turning. But again, it just takes a while to get up to speed and for the purposes of our gameplay, I'm thinking about increasing that a little bit, even if it's not very realistic. Ooh, cut through the grass a little bit there. All right, so now back to another very familiar area for us. Going through the business park. Frames per second have been pretty steady, actually, in these routes. Once again, foot is to the floor, and we're still not going very quickly. All right, here we go. Back to a very familiar area, a place where, quite frankly, we're making a lot of money. All right, there's one of our buses ahead at the bus stop that we're actually going to now. So we've caught up to one of our buses, which probably means 
uh, depending on the routes I've got these guys on, we might be seeing them quite a bit for the remainder of our route. Again, not all that many people hopping on or off. That doesn't seem to matter, though, for purposes of our money. Oh, there goes one of our buses, so he's turning. Oh, look at that. Get off. Oh, boy, that was extremely close. I don't know how we didn't get dinged for something on that. Running up on the curb, how did we not hit the light pole? I mean, all sorts of things that we could get dinged for there. But somehow we made it through. All right, so a lot of people getting off right here. It looks like maybe a few getting on. Yeah, there's about four people getting on. That seems to be the trend. I think we're good there. Well, it looks like we've got a wreck up above. Ooh, yeah, definitely got a wreck there. And let's try to get back over in our lane. Then we need to turn left. Alright, not bad. Admittedly though, I was holding my breath while we made that that turn. Really? Boy, they are really focusing on this indicator being on while we're driving straight. So now I guess I am going to have to pay more attention. Oh, there's another one of our buses. Alright, let's prepare to turn left once again. Hopefully we can make it before this box truck gets there. Woo, okay, we made it. Okay, I think this is actually our last stop. Well, no, maybe it's not. I was thinking this was our last stop. No, we've still got a couple people that this time look like they should actually still be on the bus. Okay, so maybe we have one more stop. I get going around and around in this uh, in this business area, and I forget how many stops we've actually made. There's another one of our buses. Yeah, we got this area covered quite nicely. Woo, very close. How do guys do this for a living day in and day out? Hopefully they're much better drivers than I am. Okay. Now, this one should be our final stop. All right, there we go. Yeah, you can see on... Okay, so now we've seen... If we didn't know it was our final stop before, now we do because we've gotten the inevitable trash pickup request. Yeah, let's see... I have had several times where that wasn't the only piece of trash. Looks like that's the it this time. So we'll again go back, get in, and end the route. Okay, so now they're going to ding me mercilessly until I remember to turn off my turn signals. Good news is we got leveled up on some others. So again, 10 drivers can service this stop that is awesome awesome but you notice look at look at the pathetically small amount of money we made on this trip that is terrible so really not worth keeping long term but of course for now we will keep it on the schedule simply because we need it for uh, objective purposes so we earn eleven thousand four hundred but the main goal here is the 348,000. Again, you see this thing steadily climbing, not necessarily as much as I would like to see it climb and as quickly, but uh, we're moving a lot of passengers, 799 passengers, 
money is flowing. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode. Again, this particular route, we'll get an AI driver lined up on here. So when we come back next time, we will run uh, just probably a short route. We'll pick one of these others up here that's maybe a four or five minute route. Uh, and that way we can earn some money with an AI driver on this route. Then we'll be able to unlock the harbor and get a little bit of extra spending money. So thank you very much for joining me. And stay tuned as we will continue our Let's Play series of Bus Simulator 18.